All right, third graders, will you please meet me on the carpet for our number talk? Well, good morning, third graders. I brought a really great subtraction problem for you today. Um, just like we normally do, whenever you have your answer, I want you to give me a quiet thumb, but that doesn't mean that your thinking is finished. Okay, once you've figured out the answer using your strategy, I want you to keep thinking and show me other ways that you've figured out the answer, okay? Okay, here's your problem. It looks like I'm ready to hear solutions. Okay, uh, T income? 45. 45? Okay, Kai? 51. Um, Carson? 55. Is anyone willing to share their solution and their thinking with us? Okay, let's um, go with Isa. Which answer are you going to defend? 55. 55, okay. So what I did is I did um, plus or different. So I added four to each side. Okay. Can you tell everybody why you chose four? So the 26 would be the 30 and the 81 would be an 85. So and then I just did the rest on a number line. On a number line? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I started off at 85. Okay. On the left or the right? On the right. And then I minus, and then I minus 30, which I do 85 minus 30 equals 55. Because 80 plus 50 plus 30 equals 80, and if I added 5 to the 50, that would be 55. Okay, thank you. Any comments or questions for Isa? Okay, who'd like to share their thinking? Okay, Megan. Um, I did a different kind of past difference. Um, so I minus 1 from each side, okay. and minus 1 from 81 will be Okay. Okay, will you tell everybody why you chose to do the one? Because I knew that if that 6 minus 1 equals a 5, which would make it easy 5, and that okay. 1 minus 1 would equal a 0, so that would mean make it 81 and easy 10. Okay. So um, what I did next was I broke apart the 25 into 20 and the 5. Okay. And um, I I did 80 minus 5, which equals 75, 75. And I know that 75 minus 20, that 70 minus 20 equals 50, so I knew that 75 minus 20 equals 55. Okay, let me have you say that one more time. So you know that 7 minus 20 equals 50. And then what did you say next? 75 minus 25 would equal 50. Any comments or questions for Megan? All right, who else would like to share their, their thinking? Okay, Carson, which answer are you defending? Um, 55. Okay. So I did 80 plus 20. I mean, 80 minus 20. Okay, can you tell us where did you get the 80 and the 20? From the 81 and the 26. And that equals 60. And then I did 61 because I had 61 left. And where did your one come from? The 81. And then I minus 6. And 
that not me too. Well, I'm, I broke up a six into a five and a one. Can you tell everybody why you did that? It would be easier to not to subtract. Okay. So then I did 61, I mean 61 minus one equals 60. And 60 minus five equals Any comments or questions for Carson? Do you have a comment or question? Okay, who'd like to share their thinking? Okay, um, how about T income? So, I did a number line. Okay. Starting from the left. On the left. I started at 26. Okay. And then I added four. Okay. Why did you decide to add four? Because that gave me take easy ten. An easy ten. Okay. And that gave me that got me to thirty. And then I had forty. Got me to seventy. And I added eleven more. Okay, how come you chose 11? Because I knew if I added 10, that'd get me to 80, and okay. I had to add one more, but I just decided to add the 10 and the 1 together to make it an Okay, some other kids might have needed to do a 10 and then a 1, but Tiankum was able to add those together in his head and able to go on. Okay, other ideas. We're running out of room. We're going to have to do a paper. Okay, Mason. I decomposed the subtrahend. You decomposed the subtrahend, okay. I Tell me about it. I decompose 26 and then 20 and the 6. Okay. So I did 80 minus, tw er, 81 minus 20 equals 51 or, or 61. And then I minus 6, which got me to 51 or 55. Okay. How did you figure out 61 minus 6? Was there another step in there? I decompose six and you have five and a one. Okay. And then I use the one to subtract from the six you want. Okay. And what did that get you? To sixty. Okay. And then I took away five okay. from the sixty and that got me to um, fifty five. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Any comments or questions for me? Okay. All right. Um, how about Louise? So what I did is the number line. Okay. <clears throat> I started at 81. And on the left or the right? Right. Okay. I split it up the 26 into um, and 10 and 10 and 18 and 4. A 10 and a 10 and a 2 and a 4. And then my minus 10, I got me to 71. Okay. And my minus another 10, I gave me to 61. And then my minus 2, I gave me to 59, and my minus 4, and that gave me to 55. Okay. Any comments or questions for Louise? Okay, thanks for sharing. All right, how about Caden? I think this might be our last one, guys. I use Ron and Okay. I did it on Okay. I started at 26. Okay, on the left or the right? Left.
Okay. And where's your answer? Okay. Can you talk me through that? And I did notice, third graders, that we have a lot of other answers up here. Is anyone willing to share who had one of the other answers? Do you want to give it a try? Okay. All right, thank you. Nice job. I'm so impressed with all of your mathematical thinking. That was amazing. My name is Yolanda Calero. I'm a third grade teacher here at Lakes Elementary in Lacey, Washington. And with the guidance of Haley Gilmore, my students have been doing number talks since September. And it's just been really phenomenal to see them be able to express their mental thinking um, and just growing since September, um, starting with very basic understanding of how to express yourself as a mathematician and just over the months them being able to talk about the strategies and ex explain their thinking for the benefit of their own brains but also to the benefit of each other as classmates we're just all taking what we all say and growing from that. So number talk has gave me a great experience of math and how other kids get to express how they can do their math problems, different math problems in all different ways, and how I can express how I do my math. You can choose any type of math, and there are so many answers, and you get to actually explain why that's your answer, and I just really like Number Talk because everyone gets to express their math and how they think of it. Fun because we get to hear each other's thinking and uh, we get to learn from our mistakes and we get to uh, listen to each other talking. Um, I like that we can hear and share um, everybody's thinking and get new ideas from everybody's ideas. So I just like normal talk because we get to do our, all our strategies, we get to sit together and like I like to talk with my friends and like understand their thinking and stuff and Mr. Gilmore and Mr. Claro like help us and we learn about other stuff like usually we didn't learn about all um, normal talks until Mr. Gilmore came and Mr. Claro pushed us a lot and we got to learn a lot and um, we New strategies like this um, um, place value and the way I'm adjust, and I just like um, how we express our feelings and like do our sh um, sharing and thinking. The great thing about number talks is that we get to ha have multiple strategies that we can try to find multiple answers and problems. Um, I really like how my teacher, my teachers help me with explaining my thinking and when I go wrong. Well, I brought um, Number Talks into Mrs. Clara's classroom after attending um, a workshop with Ruth Parker over the summer. And um, it was really wonderful to be able to collaborate together and bounce our ideas off each other. And um, watching where the students began in September and where we were able to take them through addition and subtraction. And then Yolanda um, continued into multiplication with the, the kids. It's been really phenomenal the progress. They love it. They love doing number talks. Um, they love sitting together and processing through and listening to each other's thinking and also just hearing how they're growing and sometimes they even state themselves from my previous mistake I've now realized this is where I, I went wrong or this is where I went astray. So just watching them grow as mathematicians and then them also carrying that thinking and that talk aloud to our whole math lessons throughout the day, not just in class, I'm um, just not in number talks. It's been pretty amazing.